As the August rains fall and the chilly breeze flows into my room, I sit admiring the little familiar details all around me. I look to my walls and I'm reminded of the painting everyday challenge I did around this time last year. Lately, I have been feeling a pull to do it again. This time around, I have a different goal though. Last year it was to capture a moment from that day, sort of creating a visual map of my month. Now though, I'm feeling the urge to explore and to play. To paint literally whatever feels good in the moment, with no rules or structure or style I'm trying to be consistent with. So today, I'm starting with a mushroom. This giant book is packed full of knowledge that I have been slowly digesting and I have found it to be so inspiring. It is really amazing how beautifully connected everything on this earth is. I have always loved painting, but for some reason, I keep getting in this cycle of drifting away from it. Then I fight to overcome the resistance, only to drift away from it again as life gets busy. I think a lot of that comes from the stress and distraction in life, and also uncertainty with how to move forward with my inner artist. Sometimes I feel a bit stuck in trying to find my groove, my favorite medium, or my own style of painting. That can be really overwhelming. Just starting without really knowing how, or the subject, or what direction to go. But I decided that I know it's a little hard right now to create for me, for the joy of it. But if I stick it out and use this challenge as an opportunity to play and discover, that is all I really need. I don't want to put pressure on myself. These creations don't need to all be cohesive. I don't need to profit from them, I don't need to restrict myself to one medium or a type of paint, I don't even have to show them to anyone or film them if I don't want to. I simply want to tune into my body and enjoy the entire process. This beautiful mushroom was inspired by the fly agaric section of the book I am reading. Their caps, the top rounded parts, can easily grow to be 12 inches in diameter. I find it wild how all we usually see of most mushrooms are the fruit bodies, yet the mycelium that grows beneath the soil or leaves is really super intricate and an expansive network. People think of mushrooms as hallucinogenic magic mushrooms or the sauteed sweetness on a mushroom and Swiss burger, but they are so much more than that and so many things that depend on them for their existence. I knew that they were important for decomposition, but I recently learned from this book actually that 90% of the world's plant species rely on fungi for their nutrition. How cool is that? I really enjoyed day one of my painting challenge, and I actually found that the rainy day was quite peaceful. The sound of raindrops and the smell of wet earth was just the right setting for working on this colorful painting. Thank you all for watching Journal 11. I hope you have a wonderful week. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and there will be plenty more nature and art-filled video journals to come.